is the Gaumont British News, presenting the world to the world. Ready for the road and representing all that's best in British motoring, 64 cars line up in Glasgow for the 2,000 mile rally to Monte Carlo. Dressed for warmth and comfort, their drivers await the starting signal. Many entrants anticipating a difficult journey through the Alps carry emergency equipment. Glasgow's Lord Provost, the official starter, looks with interest at those fitted headlamp wipers designed to combat blinding snowstorms. Here's a standard among the 20 British makes competing. Equipment of the teams includes food stores, thermos flasks, and even hot and cold for the wash basin. Intercom Radio will keep this Hillman Minx in constant touch with its team, and there's a navigation table. Drivers seeing a police car in their rear won't worry. It's Captain Minchin's team from Hendon's Police Driving School. Among the women's teams are Mrs. Wisdom and her co-drivers, facing the journey in a 10-horsepower model. And now, at one-minute intervals, the competitors leave on the first stage of a 564-mile run via Wales to Folkestone. The smallest British car in the rally is the Ford Anglia, a tribute to this popular model. Through the night, the cars speed towards the coast in their journey of four days and three nights. And dawn finds a Humber going aboard the SS Dina en route for Boulogne. Now one of the Austin team. First returns reveal further credit to the industry in that only one car dropped out before reaching Folkestone. Across the channel go these representatives of Britain's motoring prestige. And despite the snow and ice of the Alps, may each of them arrive at Monte Carlo in perfect time and under blue skies.